all right guys there's a very heavy tension in abel kuta this this video is not um today's video but i think it happened yesterday and what you are seeing right now you're seeing headsmen and, and their cow running in confusion um nobody has actually given explanation to uh to this video nobody has actually given explanation but looking at abel kuta as one of the um sacred cities in yoruba in fact in the entire yoruba land abel kuta happened to be the sacred area so some people have the opinion that the gods have struck the cows with madness you can see the way they are running you see nobody can just have any at uh, this thing on this so two things are involved either the gods have struck them with madness or people are attacking the headsmen you get people are attacking the headsmen and i think the second one could even be more possible second one could be more possible as people don't want to see headsmen around now again you get so that is what has just happened uh, now you can see they just turned that cow and um, so what do you guys think could have happened here you guys you can remember in this thing around abel Buta is where uh, some cows died you guys where thunder struck and uh, also to where some cow died mysteriously of which you could remember last year I think it was before the COVID-19. Thunder struck some cows, and then also to you could also remember that some cows just died mysteriously. And the Fulani said that it, it is the Yoruba people that poisoned the grasses that those cows ate, and then they that resulted in their deaths. So, but uh, looking at it, what do you think could have been the problem? I want you to watch this video now. Watch this video, and then I'll be back with more analysis. Because of those cows, and they don't know where those cows are coming from. That uh, she was also telling people not to stone those cows. That um, the government should do something. That the cows are more than five million. That they don't know where they're coming from. That those, those are cows in a beautiful time. The full are running, and the cows are running. That there's a lot of problems going on. So that was what she was saying in the video. <laughs> Uh, 
chaos because of those cows. Like, I don't know where those cows are coming from. That um, she was also telling people not to stone those cows. That um, the government should do something. That the cows are more than five million. That they don't know where they're coming from. That those are cows in a beautiful time. The full are running and the cows are running. That there's a lot of problems going on. So that was what she was saying in the video. All right, so guys, what do you think could have been the, the cause of these cows running amok? You get running in confusion. What do you think? Please drop your comment below. You know, of recent, there have been a revolution against the headsmen all over the entire south, not just only southwest, south, south, southeast, and southwest. So there's a revolution against them for them to leave the entire south. So the country is already divided already because if a particular ethnic group don't want to see, in fact, if more than more than 80% of ethnic group, because even the middle belt themselves don't want the Fulanis. They don't want them because these people are menace. You get if they don't want them, why is the question is why is it that every ethnic group have problem with these Fulanis? Don't you think it's a high time that the Fulanis are the one who have to look inward and even the houses themselves need to reconsider the alliance with the Fulanis? So drop your comment.